In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually add the WP Prosperant plugins uh, ads to your post. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you how to view it and use it in an individual post. But don't worry if you have sites with thousands of posts like I do. There is a very simple and easy way to put it on all your posts with basically one usage of it. But right now we need to uh, show uh, how it looks like to decide how we want that plugin to be on our pages. So I brought up one of the posts on here. It's about using Frontline Plus for your dog. Okay. Uh, you notice you have your standard editing window, but underneath the window we have a new box that's uh, here for generate WP Prosperant token. This is to help you figure out what it's going to look like and how it's going to work. Uh, right now my cursor is in the spot at the very beginning of the ad. So uh, I just made a new line at the top so I can put it at the top for now. You can put it in the top, middle, wherever. So if, now remember, the way the token works is it's going to grab everything default if we don't change anything. So we can add a different channel ID here if we wanted to. Like if you wanted to test the difference between your ads that are at the top of the page and the bottom of a page, you'd want to change your channel ID to do that. Um, I'm not doing that. I just do it by site, so I have a channel ID for each site. The default value uh, is the channel ID we already set into the general settings. And debu debug mode, default values, no. Their default value keyword is dogs. Uh, you know, and we've already set up all these and I've already gone over some of these. So the defaults are all already what I want. So now we're just going to see how the default looks on the page. So I'm going to click down here in the lower right corner of the box, Send Token to Editor. And this is the short code token. It's just WPP with braces. This with no other options in here means to use it exactly how it's set in default. Okay, I just learned something about the way the preview works. If you open the preview in a new tab, it won't display. If you open a new window, it will work, but uh, for the purpose of this video, I wanted to keep working within this single uh, browser. So uh, I have updated the post, and then I have viewed the post in a new uh, tab. And now this is what we see on our page here. Remember, our, there is no search referrer since we're coming in on our own site. So it's using the title for our keyword and it's appending the word dog. Yes, dog's in there twice, but it knows how to work around that. So we had it, our uh, template set default as list. This is the list view and then uh, we also have it set with 20 items. So now there's going to be 20 items about Frontline here before we get to our article that was still here. Uh, I love the ads at the top, but 20 is a little much. You'll probably agree with me on that. So what I like to do is I like to have two of the list ads at the top. So I don't want to use it default. Let's remove the default usage of the token there and now let's go down here to the token builder and tell it that I only want to show two items. Send that token to the editor. And now if you look here it now has WPP with a limit page equals two. Let's update this and let's view this post in a new tab. Let's close the old one. And now we have two of them coming up before our article. How is that? 
for a page. So we have using Frontline Plus for your dog, two ads right here for Frontline Plus, thumbnails clickable, titles clickable, click for price and view store are clickable, and then we have our article underneath it. When we click for price or anything else, it's opening in a new window here. Let me bring it over so you, uh, you can see what happened. And by clicking on the link, it's opened us to this uh, site, entirelypets.com. And it has the Frontline uh, Plus item that we clicked on, and it tells you the price. And go. Uh, you can then, the person can then order the item. Um, so if you want, you can have the prices displayed here by turning off the option to click for price. But I like that. I think it entices more clicks. What you can do is testing. Uh, what I would do for, for testing like that is do one week with it on, one week with it off. See what gets more clicks and more sales. It's uh, not, you can't really A-B test it on each individual piece of traffic. Uh, it'd be too hard uh, to uh, set that up to do. So this is how I like uh, doing, I do the list up front, but then I, I like adding another thing underneath that, and I'll show you what I do here. Uh, I put another one, uh, another line there to go underneath it. It could even be next to it. What the key important thing here that I've found out with this plug, with uh, the way WordPress works, it's a WordPress thing. You can't have two of these codes right next to each other where they're touching each other. If I do another code, I did it wrong. Right here, it would fail because it needs a space in between them. See, there's no space there. If I put a space there, it would then work. Uh, the second code fails because it just needs something between them. So I, I just do them each on a line. It doesn't matter if you put a lot of lines in here or whatever, it, it shouldn't matter. Um, but you can do it right on the next line. So then what I like doing there is I like inserting a visual grid. Uh, so let's go into the default options here, or change the default. So the template here, I'm going to go to grid, and I want to do, it's going to go uh, with this website, it's uh, pretty wide, I think it can do four items, so we'll try it. I want two lines, which would be eight items to show. And all the rest I'm going to keep as uh, the same. So I send that token to the editor, and up here, now we have, it's calling the uh, plugin and telling it to make it a grid template with eight items. So you could type all these in, but if you have typos, they will fail to work. So the best way to do it is to use this builder here to uh, do it. So let's update this plugin, close the old one, and once it's finished updating here, okay, let's open this in a new tab. Let's see how this one now looks. We first have our two list versions, and then we have eight items, and it fits perfectly eight items here. Eight items in what I call the grid format. So you can play around with all the uh, different uh, templates, create your own template, whatever you want. Uh, put them wherever you want. If you wanted this underneath your ad, you could do that. Uh, it's up to you to figure out the uh, how you like it. Um, this is what I generally do for my sites. I do two of the list on top, and then either four or eight of this visual. And I'm going to be creating a mini visual one, which will just going to remove the title, price, and name, and just have the picture and the visit store button. So it uh, condenses a even a little more than this. I put those on the top. Um, as I said in the first video, a lot of my sites were created with the uh, WordPress Mage method, and that method has a lot of eBay items at the bottom uh, below the content of the page. And uh, so I don't really need to add any more content, because if you look at these ads, these are now actually content on your site. All these words are part of the site. They're not hidden uh, in Java or anything else. Like if you have AdSense ads on your site, those are in Java, so they're not content. 
but these are content. So if you're a WordPress Mage user and you got denied by eBay and, uh, to join eBay, and people told you that you could still use eBay ads at the bottom of your uh, pages for content, switch to these. Put up 20, 30, whatever you want of these lists, uh, template ads, and now you have a whole bunch of exactly related items that fit the uh, products. And uh, also for you WP Mage users, WordPress robot users, or any other people, you can use these in your building templates. So when you use WordPress Mage to build your sites, you can use this right in your template. Uh, WordPress robot, you can drop this right into your templates so that every post will have them on there. If you already have a site built, I'm going to show you in the next video the quickest and easiest ways that you can get it on every page that's out there so you don't have to add it to any uh, existing uh, or to every existing post. Uh, just a second ago I mentioned AdSense. Just to let you know, these are not contextual ads. So you can have AdSense on this page also. There's no problem. This is this is your content with just an affiliate link to a site. You, AdSense has no problem with their terms and services of running this style of ad right alongside them. Prosparent does allow you to use another type of ad block that they supply. They call it, currently call it the TCPA ads. It's very much uh, like an AdSense where you get uh, some Java and you tell it the size of the ads and everything. It puts it on your page. That might have some issues with AdSense. So I would not use that kind of block with AdSense. But also from Prosperant data is that those ads don't have as good of click-through or sales as using API generated ads which these are here. So we're generating content ads from their API and these work better. So just use these. You can still use AdSense. You can still use eBay. You can still use Amazon. I'm not taking anything off of my pages. I am just adding this new method to all of my pages. And right now we'll go to the next video where I'll now show you that once you've uh, got your uh, tokens the way you want them. We have these two tokens that we like. I'm going to show you how to put them on all your pages because if we refresh this main page here, if you'll notice the first page here with dog sweaters doesn't have any ads and neither does the Frontline Plus page. All the ads are down here on this post that we just put them on on that single post. I'm going to remove them from there and now we're going to move them over to a, uh, another place so we can have them on all the ads, on all the posts.